old man beer. Old man beer. So anyway, uh, just got out of the uh, hot tub's good on my shoulder, and then straight to the swimming pool, right? So uh, Kenny Schrader would call me, and Schrader would say, Herman, I'm three beers in, but you got to listen to me. Same deal here. I'm three beers in, but you got to listen to me. So as far as the comments going, Herman, you're drinking beer. Save it for another day. <laughs> I wanted to tell you young kids this story. They're putting up a gazebo. Good kids, Austin Harris, Ryan Hamilton. So my whole life, my whole life, I've come to Daytona Beach, Florida, and I've gone hotel to racetrack, hotel to racetrack, hotel to racetrack. And that racetrack is Daytona International Motor Speedway. Living my dream. Oh, damn, I, man, I'd give anything to be in your spot, Herman. Except when you get to the racetrack, it's all about competition. And competition will kill you. So, after, after three cracked ribs, a positional vertigo at Loudon. The ribs got cracked at Indy. Two torn tendons. I'm beat up. I never gave up, and I don't want you to ever give up. But here's the moral of the story. I've never in my life enjoyed Florida, ever. Because I come here to race, because I'm a race car driver. So to all you kids out there, Smell the roses every once in a while. Harry, Harry Gant would say, instead of instead of walking past roses and looking at them, stop, smell them. It means take it easy. I don't want you to be like me. And the deep thoughts come from uh, three beers and sitting in the hot tub and swimming. So when you come to Florida, try to enjoy it. Because I've never enjoyed Florida because I'm a fucking hardcore race car driver. I'm gonna start enjoying it now. I'm 58. Woo! Earnhardt is mama in. So Kevin Gundaker challenged me. Kevin Gundaker challenged me. He said, What does four beers look like? <laughs> Furthermore, I got another thought. Tom, these son of a bitches that ruin everything. Every time I go on a cruise ship or every time I'm in the Bahamas, oh, hey, Walsh, well, you Anyway, yes, take vacations. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're on vacation. Yeah, we're on vacation. You son of a bitches. Hey, watch your mouth, would you? I got kids around. I've heard, hey, I've heard it all. Simmer down. So four beers in, Gundaker, here's the deal. Every damn time I cop a good buzz, there's always that one son of a bitch that says these horrible words to me. It's time to get ready for dinner. Who are these people, Tom? It's time to get ready for dinner. I'm like, hey, I got an idea. You go to dinner. For me, I just need a damn sandwich or Taco Bell. As, as far as ruining my fun, when I go on these cruise ships and I'm on vacation, Tom, there's always that one son of a bitch. You're four or five beers in, having a good time, and they always go, well, it's 3.30. We better get ready for dinner. I'm like, dinner's what they said out south. Stop it. My shit, I ain't getting ready for dinner, okay? You you go get dressed, do your deal. I'm going to stay like this. Till it's time to go to bed, all right? As they say, as Dale Earnhardt Jr. says, I eat. You go to dinner, I'm gonna stay here. I get me a bologna and cheese sandwich with mustard. <laughs> I'm too much. Simmer down, Herman. Okay.